everybody it's Angela again welcome back to my channel today I'd like to say a big warm welcome to all my new subscribers and of course an even bigger welcome to my long-standing existing subscribers thank you ladies thank you so very much I appreciate your support and encouragement so very much um, I couldn't do this without you so really thank you from the bottom of my heart now today, um, what I thought of doing was doing an altered envelope. Uh, back, I'm back on the junk mail um, envelopes and I thought I'd, as I love envelopes so much, I thought I'd do another version of that. Um, make it really pretty using scraps and bits and pieces from um, your stash that you have lying around. I know for myself, I really need to reduce the amount of scrap paper, scrap fabrics i've got scrap everything lying all around and i tell you if i had to show you what the desk looks like you'll be horrified i'm sure you all have the same thing this little piece i've etched out in the middle is the only tidy bit all right so um without further ado i'm gonna show you what i, I have planned so here is two examples of my altered envelopes and I will say that I get a lot of inspiration from so many of you um, it's just amazing but the person who started my thinking cap going with envelopes was Gina now Gina from the Fly, Firefly Studio 67 I'll put her link below she had <laughs> she made me laugh with uh, when I first heard her say she had bought a thousand envelopes and that she needed to make some inroads into using those and has done all sorts of things with envelopes. So I do get a lot of inspiration from you, Gina. Thank you. Um, I did laugh not so long ago when you said, well, you've still got 980 something to go. So that was funny. But yes, today I would like to use some envelopes and we're gonna, I hope you've all been saving your junk mail ones. So what I've got here is two different examples. This one here is an envelope that um, hasn't got a window. It's just a straight envelope from the junk mail that I've covered and made pretty um, to use in your journal. So this one, as you can see, if I take the tags out, has um, it's just plain. It's got no window. I've used all sorts of scraps and bits and pieces there. Um, these are the tags that um, I have, that one I've made. Um, and I've got a tutorial on that, so I'll show you that. This is just from a scrap of paper, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, and this is just another scrap of paper that I um, have put together. So it's all about reducing the scraps today. So that's the one um, without the window. There is a journal card that slides out there as well from another scrap of paper. And the board that I've used here, as I like to say, uh, and it's true, this is from packaging. So the packaging that we get for um, all sorts of things, um, I've used that instead of throwing it away. So let's just get it back in there. There we go. Get in. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. This one here is also an envelope. Um, this one's a window envelope. So if I bring that closer, again, um, tags that I've made, again, from a scrap of paper. Um, this is a tag that I have made myself, also from scraps. And I'll show you how I do some of these things here. Um, right and then this one as I told you has a window uh, I've put some of those die cuts over there um, and it also has a uh, journal card that slides out and that peeks through the window so there we go and again using cardboard from packaging that I have this one I um, haven't covered so it's a nice ivory color so that's nice for writing on this one I have put on because it's a junk mail envelope I have put on um, a muted color on the back there so there we have it so that's what we're going to attempt doing today all right so let's put that oh before I, I put that away um, just so that you know some of the ways that you could use this in your journal for example Obviously, you could make this a, a flip out. So you could attach that with some masking tape or washi or whatever you normally do. And you could use it as a flip out there. Um, you could also attach it to the bottom of your page. Uh, that there and there with glue. And you could use that as a tuck spot and put some other things behind. I mean, it's endless. You could attach that firmly um, in the 
on the side like that and have an opening there for you to tuck something else in. It's all up to you. I would make sure though that the tab side is on the side, um, preferably if that was the edge of your page, I'd have it like that and then, you know, attach it with glue like that and you can still tuck something in there. So there are lots of things you could do. You could give this as a happy mail to somebody. You could send it as a birthday card and put all sorts of goodies in there. So really the possibilities are endless and the same for that one. So that's what we're going to have a try at today. So let's put that aside. Right. Um, now I'm just grabbing some of my um, envelopes that I've had. Um, you get all sorts of mail and all sorts of junk mail. I've just covered one and made a mistake and had to start this video all over again. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this envelope right here. So that's what we're going to use today. But any any kind of envelope that you have is really fine and it would work very well. So let's have a look at that. All right. So this is a, an envelope that I think one of you lovely ladies gave me so isn't that lovely and um, I've kept it and now I'm going to make it into something pretty so if it is open seal it down or if you have slipped the top there um, you know then that's great because that's what I am going to do so I'm just going to use a little bit of glue here uh, I suppose I could lick it but <laughs> I'm not going to do that Right, so just put a little thin layer of glue all around there because we want it closed. You don't need to do this, obviously, if you've taken one from the mail and just slit the top. Okay, so there, that's all closed nicely now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to slip this side here. So let's just line this up nicely. A very thin sliver off the side here. So very thin you can cut this with your scissors i'm just a fan of a craft knife um, and if you do use a craft knife um, a good idea would be to use a metal ruler otherwise if you use a plastic one you're taking slivers of it and it won't be so straight one of these fine days so i have learned that the hard way okay so what do we have now we've got an opening here don't worry about that um, we did glue it <laughs> So it is going to be covered anyway, so let's just do that again. Okay, that's better. Okay, this is where our journal card will end up going, so that's what that's about. Now what we need to do is we need to cover that, so let's put the rule on this side. I have got a bunch of scraps that I've been delving in that box full and I'm looking for something to cover that. Now I don't want to use that because it's a bit bold. Oh wait, I'm just going to try this one. Is this the lightest one I have? I think that one. I want something muted that can go behind here and I'm going with the blues and the pinks. So I quite like that. That could look really pretty. I use that side. Um, that will be really nice. Now, I don't need to cover all the way down because remember, this is going to turn up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that up there, make sure it's all right there, and then just with my pencil, I'm going to just make a mark. Oops, so I know where I've got to be. And then, um, if I fold that up like that then that's where I need to be so go like that just a little bit longer so that my fold is just going to cover that and then we just go like that so hopefully my maths is all right with that <laughs> hopefully let's see rather make it slightly bigger than smaller it will save a lot of hassle you can always trim Okay. Right, that looks good. Um, put that scrap back on the pile. And then that should fit very nicely over there. And then when we turn that up, that'll just cover, see, just going to cover 
that bit over there like that so i quite like that okay so let's glue that down i think my glue stick has um run out so if you've got a glue stick by all means do that there nicely I think that's where I need it I don't want any of the blue sticking out right so that's fine okay now what we want to do is we want to fold this up to where we need it so do that Um, I think that's about where I want it, so that's fine. Let's make that nice and firm. And now we want to put a bit of a um, scrap on there. And I think I'm going to use the bottom there because I quite like that swirly bit. So let's do that. Tick, tuck it in there nicely. Then just with your pencil, run that over the top. Run it over the side, and that should give you the size you need. So, there we go. And over there. All right. Let's have a look. How are we doing? Yep, that looks about perfect. So I'm going to open that up, use this here, put that on. This is just to hold it in place. Um, I am going to stitch it, but of course you don't have to. Just make sure if you aren't going to stitch it that you do glue um to the edges really well with a good glue so that's fine okay so that's going to go like that um, i'm going to stitch that in a minute um, so that's fine but before i do that and do all the stitching i want to put a bit on the back here so that bit's sticking out a little bit let's just trim that off so we just line it up nicely um, and give that a, a complete trim there we go that's much cleaner. I suppose I could have saved that for when I do this in a bit. Um, right, so now I want something really muted because I want to be able to write on the back here. So that's going to be turned up like that. I need to cover that area. Unless you want to write with a white pen, which I suppose you could. I'm going to use some tea dye paper and cover the back here. So that's something we all have. So let's do that. Again, let's turn it over. And make sure we've lined it up everywhere and then run your pencil right around the edge of that okay now this is the bit I got wrong earlier so that's why I had to redo everything because I wanted to stitch around all the bits at once not be um, having a bit that's not stitched at the back so I decided to take it upon myself and redo the whole video my day is not going well with the videos today <laughs> oh right so there we have that now we're going to stick on the back here Okay, let's put that on, match up the corners, and these ones, that's all right. Oh, I just love the colour of tea dyed paper. 
Right, so now let's just make sure when we turn this over that we haven't got anything sticking out. I can see a little bit of an edge here, so I just want to trim that off again. So we have gone a bit wrong. Nice clean finish. Okay, happy with that. Okay, so it's all looking good. Right, so there we go. We've got everything covered that we want covered. Now comes the stitching bit. So what we need to do now, let's put the ruler aside. I'm gonna start off by stitching straight across there because you can't do that once it's all stitched there. So let's do that first. Straight across. we go so that's done there hopefully you can see now what happens now is remember this is our side where we are going to um, put in our journal card so we don't want to stitch on that side so what we do want to do is and this is just a reminder for myself it's not that side Angela we want to start over there and do a double stitch and then stitch down there across the bottom there straight up and end over there with a double stitch so that's what we're going to do start over there so let's get on with that and we don't need that anymore okay so there we have it we've got that nice stitched edge right across and i think it finishes it off so nicely now i can see a bit of blue there so what i'm going to do is um, I don't want any blue, although it's, it's not horrific, but <laughs> I don't want to see that. So I'm just going to trim that off. Um, there we go, no more blue. Okay, so there we go. That looks really nice and clean, and, and that's um, you can journal on the back of that. So that's really great as well. All right, so... Um, we've got our pouch there, we've got our opening over there, so that's great. Now what we want to do is um, let's measure up and do our, our journal card first of all. So that's um, what I'm going to do is use some pizza box. <laughs> um, love this, like a tea stained look there. And we want to measure this up, so let's just see first of all. That's a bit wide, so if I tuck that in there, I need to take off... Just a little bit. I, I don't want it to be um, difficult to go in and out. So I'm just going to slice that off right across the top there. And hopefully that'll fit. Okay, so that'll go in nicely. And then that goes right to the bottom. So that's where I want to cut that off like that. Okay, so that makes it really quick and easy. So let's just get that bit sorted there. Okay, we'll keep that. That could be a nice tag, couldn't it? So that's why I never get rid of any scraps, ladies, because you never know. Right, so we've got our board here. Now we want to cover that side with our paper. And I think, I think I'm going to put in, well, yeah, why not? I think that will look nice. So I'm going to just put a piece of that in there, really. And that will look really pretty. So we're going to put that side down. Let me just put that to the side. Um, use my glue stick again, because I will go round and round and round with the sewing machine. And I think it was this side here. I'm just going to line that up really nicely. Um, and I think that's about it. Using this cardboard, it's really sturdy and, of course, doesn't cost you anything. So, you know, that's the way to do it. So, save a fortune because board is cardstock's expensive. Um, there we go. So, there's that. How pretty is that? I really like that. 
um, and all the sides look all right so all that remains to do here is is to put on a little tab now um, I'm not going to use my tab punch today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these scraps here so let's try this one uh, we're going to make it pink we're going to make it pink so I'm going to do that fold this in half um, let's say uh, I'll measure it for you and tell you what I, what it is it's one it's about 15 16 millimeters if you in metric which is pretty much um, half an inch and then I'm just going to trim that off this is how I make a tab if it will, how you can make a tab if you don't have a tab punch now what you want to do is you want to um, decide how long you want the tab so let's say in the middle there and we'll keep that for future reference now all that you want to do this is the bit that we're going to sew on i just want to round those corners so if you do have a corner pound a rounder round the corners like that on the sides because we are going to attach it like that look yeah so there you have a tab using what you have you don't have to go and get an expensive tab all right so that's just a cheap thing that i got off um amazon it cost me next to nothing so you know there you have a decent tab now i always zigzag across the tab bit and then i straight stitch around the rest but just to keep that in place i would suggest that you um, put some glue glue on it just so that it stays where you want it to stay while you're sewing so do that if of course at any point you want to be um, want to add your distressing do that you know um, right let's do that quickly so we've got that where we need it now I'm gonna start with my zigzag so I'm gonna go not too wide a zigzag and I'm putting it on um, not too close but not too wide okay so there we have our tab with a homemade tab um with our stitching all around now you can ink all of that if you want so let's do that quickly we'll do all of that quickly okay so that's all done great now we've got our journal card to slide in there like that okay so that's great that's done that's perfect look at that all right so now what we want to do is we want to put um our tags in here and decorate a little bit over here so let's have a look at that let's find some bits i want um quite like that that's quite nice uh, i love the pink so let's grab some of this oh i can't grip it come here so i have us i think we'll have a little bit of this so let's see i uh, quite like that bit there so i'm gonna just take a little strip here like that and i'm gonna put that over here i think and then i'm gonna get a little bit of the blue i quite like this this looks cool see how small the scraps are <laughs> that I'm hoarding. Um, okay, we'll have that like that. Now you could have done that before, Angela. You really could have, and then stitched over it then. Um, but you know, whatever happens. Right, let's just get something for the other corner. Quite like that. So find a bit of a. So we'll stick that over there um, 
we've got those and we'll lap them might make that a bit shorter really uh, hmm. I might do it this side no I might do it this side so if I do that there and we put those in like that I quite like that really that looks all right okay yeah and then we can just put a word on and a butterfly and I think it'll be perfect what do you think okay so I'm gonna get one of these words that I print out on my scrap papers when I'm trimming the pages I'm gonna just trim that off there and I'll sort that out in a minute I really think that stamp set that um, I have if you've got a little letter stamp set it's just awesome you can do so much with it I love it okay so we've got blossom I'm gonna stick blossom just over there like that so I've got them shingled and then I'm gonna stick a little butterfly on there as well and I think that looks really cute so that's what we're gonna do with that so let's get out our glue right let's do a little bit of this there's the one two I'm looking forward to the days being longer ladies I don't know about you but it's not very late here I think it's just after four and it's pretty dark already outside so I that's in a few weeks time I'm sure we're gonna have um, much lighter days as it will be spring in about a month or oh, less than a month now because it's February but yeah I'm going as the first of March as my spring I think it's probably officially the 21st of March I think if I'm correct okay just make sure that all now we were meant to put this behind so let's do that before it dries okay make sure you get to the edges with this um, I'm gonna have to work quickly here so that one goes like that and I don't want to push that down yet because Okay, that's quite enough on there. Um, I can't remember how I had this now. I think it was up here. Yeah. Luckily that hasn't dried. That was like that. That was like that. And now that was like that. That's it. <sighs> the brain's gone. The brain has left the building. That's what happens when you're in your 50s. <laughs> Who relates okay so we want that over there okay loving that right now that all is a myth the only thing that's missing um, a couple of butterflies which I've put to the side here um, no do we want a really small one maybe oh I love this one I love that one right it'll be that one then okay so let's get him in might be a her who knows oh the glue is awful I need to get some acetone in here oh, I hate it when it's like that right put the lid on quickly Okay, so we'll stick that, I think, right there and uh, just a little bit over because I don't want it to go over this bit here. Right, uh, needs a middle. Stretch over here. Get my little pokey tool. And a little bit of glue there, as you do. And a little detail of the middle over there. 
okay so that's our bottom bit there so how's that junk mail looking now right so we've got that so what what the only thing that remains to be done and i'm not going to waste your time with this is to put in some of your tags so i'm just going to show you with the ones that i have over here and these you can easy follow up with on my tag tutorial so if you have to put something in like that um, I'll show you what I've done with the others. Let's grab some over here. So, um, here again, I have a little scrap of paper. I have just used a, a punch and done the top, but of course you can just cut it side by side like each corner off like that, so that would be fine. And then all I do with this is um, take some of the sari ribbon or whatever ribbon you have. Take it up like this, make a length that you're happy with, cut that off. Okay, so we have that, and then let's put that to the side. What I do is I just take my, you can use a myriad of things, but I'm using embroidery thread. So I'm using the, this embroidery cotton. I'm going to just cut off a length here. Um, and then you're going to hold this like this with your fingers and then awkwardly you're going to <laughs> um, tie a bow and I'll show you once I've done secured it with a, a sort of a, this over here so you're going to tie at the base there like that and then tie a bow on the top pull that bit tight yeah and then make a little bow with the cotton or the twine or whatever you have, linen thread. Um, and pull that like that. You can make it as big as small as you like, obviously. Okay, so that is really cute. And then just trim off the bits how you want them. So like that. And then you can then just pull these a little bit apart like that so there we go how cute is that very cute now um just give that a bit of a um distressing gosh the words escape me um and then of course with the corners because i've just cut this with my ruler um i like them rounded so this is just another scrap of paper that's in there and i've just cut a couple of them from the scrap that was in there um, so there we go. So that's how I make those little tags, which is so quick and easy, isn't it? And that looks really cute just sticking in there. And then um, for the other one, I just took, I had some of these from, I think this is from My Porch Prints or something like that. Um, Grandmother's Attic, I think it was. Um, this is really cute. I like the, the, the colours here. A um, bit of cream into the design because we've got blue and pink and then a little suggestion of pink roses. And all I'm going to do is show you how I do the top bit. So I'm um, going to take a bit of pink scrap and it's just a simple thing. I don't even need to show you this. Just take your scissors, decide how wide you want it. And then just cut a little bit like that. Fold it in half. Make your little paper tabs instead of ribbon. And put it on the top there and sew across. So let's just do that quickly. You know, as simple as that. So I just put a bit of glue just to secure it while I stitch. And you could sew right round, but I, I'm just working out the exact middle here. Uh, there we go. Press it flat like that and now all I'm going to do, make sure it's straight, is just straight stitch across there. So let's do that quickly. Just quick, quick, as simple as that. ball when you're filming 
Right, so there we have it. You can um, distress on the other side, which I'll do in a later bit of, of the journal. So we can just slide that to fill that gap up there. So how cute is that? As easy as that. Yeah, so there we have it. Uh, we've got our nice tea dyed paper on the back. As I said, you can fit that down to your page in any which way. Use it as a flip out, tuck things behind it um, and do whatever you choose to do with it. So we've transformed um, a piece of junk mail that we got for nothing in the post. And now we have something pretty to put into our journals. So, ladies, I hope that you have enjoyed doing this with me. Um, I definitely have enjoyed doing that with you. So we have yeah oh uh, uh, another little bit um, to add to our journals from junk mail and scraps and uh, recycled packaging board etc. So I want to thank you all again. Thank you so much for um, joining me today. I hope that this has inspired you to go and give this a try in your own journals because um, that really is lovely. Um, and I'd love to see what you guys create. So don't forget I am on Instagram. I'm angela.k50, um, that will be in my description below. Uh, tag me in with things that you've made from some of the tutorials of mine that you've watched. Love to see how they turn out. And don't forget about the subscriber challenge. Remember, ladies, I'd love to have you, uh, a piece of you in my friendship journal. So don't forget to have a look at the subscriber challenge. That would be amazing. And you stand a chance to win of my, uh, one of my um, hardcover um, full journals so and of course there are two other prizes as well so thank you all for joining me today um, it's been amazing uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next video thank you very much goodbye